gets around that mutant forearm, sets that. I've never seen this training ever. One thing about Kazakhstan arm wrestlers, they tend to be very technical, very skilled, and a lot of them tend to be pressers, offensive hook pressers. One of them is Talgat Aktaev. This guy is known for being one of the fastest arm wrestlers, super explosive in that offensive press move. He's pinned guys like Morozov. I mean, he's pinned, this is in practice, but uh, he has big wins in tournaments as well. He's a world champion. Um, but if you're new to the sport and you don't know who this guy is, this will definitely uh, show you the capabilities of this guy. He's incredible. That's him against Morozov, again, in practice, but insane speed and coordination. That's him tournament. Jeff Hale just right to the pad there. Bosky. Like his press move is, is ridiculous. It's just one motion and it's so it's so fluid. It's like it's hard to stop it because you you have to get him out of that that position he's in. And I actually found a video of him training, how he trains that lock position, which actually was fascinating to me. Now this video right here, you can see him doing some type of training for that press position. And he's got 150 kilograms, so that's over 330 pounds or something. I've never seen this training ever. Oh, that's an insane amount of weight. So he's got, okay, it looks like a regular handle or some type of rolling, he's got some type of rolling handle. Uh, I wanna see how he does this again. And he's got it cupped in, but he's got his entire shoulder behind it there. Insane amount of weight, just for a static hold. I mean, I've seen Sergey Bogoslav do a similar exercise where he's like holding uh, horizontally a weight just in that lock position on his bone. It's no wonder his his uh, his elbow is so strong in that press position if he's doing training like that. In fact, it, you must have a strong elbow to beat Oleg Zorov. Like, this is at the World Championships. This was last year, and he beat the Ukrainian mutant Oleg uh, Zorov with the d dude with a double forearm. Now this angle isn't the best because. I'll explain afterwards. Well, you can't really see too much of what's going on, but there's a different angle um, where it kind of shows that Talgak potentially had his shoulder over, which is, uh, that would be a foul. I mean, in the setup, they didn't square his shoulders, basically. They just started it like, you know, this is a WAF championship. You're supposed to have your, your shoulders squared, not completely facing your arm, and his elbow's almost on the, the front of the pad here as well. Like, they literally did not square his shoulders here, which is crazy. But look at the speed. I mean, as soon he's looking at the ref's lips, and as soon as he's, like, about to say go, it's not even when he says go. Like, if you go, like, in point two five, or not even, you just pause it. Like, you can see that he's moving, like, right as the ref is about to say go, which is one thing about timing. Like if you're looking at the referee, you can time it so well. And this guy's an absolute master of timing. But anyways, this is the better angle of that match against Oleg where he gets around that mutant forearm, sets that hook and is somehow able to press downwards. There was an elbow foul, losing position winner. So Talgat Aktaev, I wanna see this guy in a match again soon. He deserves a high level match. He's a world champion. He's super fun to watch just because of his abilities, his extreme explosiveness. And if you guys are new to the sport, then I hope I introduced a, an athlete that is exciting for you to watch and look more into. I'll put some of the links of these videos in the description so you can go watch Talgat Active for yourself. But that's it for the video. I figured I'd share something that I found interesting. I'll catch you guys in the next one.